closeness in a relationship requires personal knowledge and experience with that person. I can't think of a better way to get to know God personally and intimately than through the Bible. It's in the Bible where we learn who God is and His love for us, even His purpose for our lives. And I want to take our last devotional further on the topic of fellowship of God and I want to help us know how to actually study the Bible. I'm going to use a simple method uh, on how we can learn God through the pages of the Bible. Now, before I get into that, I wanted you to know that my approach to reading the Bible is um, I'm not reading it to, to know facts about God or to look at him as like some historical figure where I'm taking down notes for, you know, for a test or uh, a duty. It's not a duty to read the Bible. When I go to read the Bible, I do it to be in relationship with a God who loves me, and I love him. And so I want to know his heart, and I want to know what he cares about and what's important to him. And whatever's important to him, I, it's, it's important to me, and because we're in that relationship. And so when I go to hang out with God and, and read the Bible and pray, it is not because you have to. It's because I want to. I want to hang out with him. So that's important. Now, the Bible is very, very powerful. In fact, Hebrews 4, 12 through 13 says some pretty interesting things. It says, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes, and he is the one to whom we are accountable. I know that sounds uh, a little invasive, but what it's saying here is, is God knows you and his word, scripture, it will point things out in your life and it will teach you things and help you know things. The point of scripture isn't to just hurt you or it's not to cut you and, you know, and leave you there hurt. The, the scripture knows you. God uses the scripture to get to the heart of your life and help you. And so when you read the Bible, you need to know that God uses it to really speak to you and work on your life. I heard someone once say, don't just read the Bible, let the Bible read you. So let God's word speak to your heart and you'll experience a closeness to God that you've never felt before. So what's that Bible study method I was talking about? It's a simple one called SOAP, an acronym for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And so this is what you would do is you would grab a, a journal such as this and you would write down the letter S on top and you would um, open up in prayer before you would jump in. You could pray and say, uh, God, show me what you want to uh, teach me today. Speak to my heart. And I personally read through the Bible book by book or from the beginning of the Bible to the end of the Bible every year. So I already know that I'm in a certain place in the scripture. And so what you would do is, is you would have your journal and your pen ready. I like to pray before I read. And then that just opens my heart to receive the scripture. And then I would read. So we're going to practice real quick. So I'm reading 2 Timothy 3. And the verses that I stop at is verse 16 through 17. And here's what it says. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So on the top of my journal, I would write S and the scripture verse would be 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17, and I would write that verse out. And so that would be the scripture that stuck out to me. The second letter is observation. So now I'm gonna take time to observe what it says. And here's some things I already wrote down. And I read it slowly, by the way. I take my time, read it line for line. And here's what I know. I know the context of the scripture. So the chapter and verses before it are Paul talking to his understudy, Timothy. And he's telling him how important the scripture is in his life. And I write down this. I write down the obvious thing. All scripture is inspired by God. In other words, scripture is from God. So that's an observation I took from our verses. The second thing I wrote down is Paul mentioned scripture is useful for the following things teach us what is true, show us what's wrong in our lives, correct our ways, and teach us what is right. That's four things. So in a nutshell, we're learning that scripture is how we know which way 
to live is right and which way is wrong. And then look at, look at verse 17. It says, God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. That's 2 Timothy 3, 17. So what I just read there is, is God uses scripture, which I don't know if you ever thought of that, but that's pretty fascinating to think of. Um, what does God use scripture for? Well, it says in that same line, to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So yeah, the scripture can be very um, painful to read sometimes. Sometimes it can sting a little bit, but the purpose is to prepare and equip his people for every good work. So that's what we just learned by taking two verses, taking a moment to observe what it says and writing down those things. That's literally, I just almost kind of really rewrote the scripture in bullet statements in my journal. And I learned what that scripture means and what it's trying to say. So the next part is application. So we have S for scripture, O for observation, A for application. That's the question of how do we apply this scripture to our lives? Well, since the Bible is from God and he uses it to guide me, I need to make it a priority in my life. I need to make a priority to, to read the word of God and take time to practice like a SOAP Bible study method. And then I need to live it out. And so the Bible teaches us how to live. So I'm gonna find something in the word of God to live. Um, from reading this scripture, I have a good reason to read the Bible and take notes of what God is trying to show me because I'll know how to live for him. And then I'm thinking as an application point too, I'm gonna to commit to read and reflect on a portion of scripture every day. So when I read this, I was like, I, if, if God is using scripture and it's important to him that much, scripture should be important to me just the same. It should be that important to me. So I'm gonna make a commitment to, to study scripture every day and to hear what God is trying to say to me. So that is uh, A, and then lastly, for, for the SOAP acronym P, which is prayer. And I just wanna ask God to help us apply the word of God. So we just practiced the SOAP study method. So you would read scripture and write down verses that stick out to you. And then you would take time to make observations and then you would take a moment to reflect on how you can apply that to your life if it's apl uh, applicable. And then lastly, you would pray and pray that God would help you live that out. So why don't we do that right now in, in the closing of this, this video. God, we thank you so much that you long to speak to us and that your word is there to, to guide and teach us and to equip us for every good work. So Lord, we learn today how we can dig into your word a little bit more and mine it and take out those, uh, the, the gold that's in there and live it out in our everyday lives. God, I pray you would help us to do that. Lord, may we set aside time, uh, important time. If the scripture is important to you, it should be important to us. And so may we make it a priority in our lives every day to be in your word so we can get to know you more and know your heart and also so you can work on our lives so that we can do even more for your kingdom. We love you, God. We thank you for the powerful word, the scripture that speaks life to us. We are so grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.